Best t-shirt ever. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? It's Andrew here. And uh, I just wanted to make this video just to, uh, just because we haven't talked in a while. And also I've got uh, kind of some stories to tell you. And I think you'll find them interesting. So there's something that I've picked up in the past few months. Uh, since I've been living here in Bradford, I've been part of the uh, uh, Bradford University Gaming Society. Shout out. So something that I've, you know, picked up since I've been here is uh, role-playing. It's something that I've wanted to do for years, but just never really found um, a group of people big enough that I could do it with, uh, and consistently. And so, you know, coming here I've been able to do it more consistently and things like that. So it's been really, really fun. I really, really loved it. I wanted to tell you guys um, about my, uh, my favorite character that has kind of come out of me um, starting to roleplay. Uh, it is a cleric named Gracchus Shieldheart. So I'll tell you a little bit about Gracchus. Uh, he was uh, simply just like, you know, a, a farm boy living in a small village. And, uh, and the village was um, taken over by, uh, by a legion of undead that was sent by a necromancer that had been like just, and just completely ransacked the place. So yeah, both of his parents ended up getting killed and he was rescued by uh, the local, like, priest, who then took him into the church and then sort of raised him as his own son. And w uh, when he got older, he eventually became a priest as well. Later, as an adult, um, his, uh, like, his temple or whatever was also raided by undead, and his father figure that had taken him in had also been killed. It was at this point that Gracchus decided to make it his life mission to eradicate uh, the undead from the world, and also to eliminate anyone who had anything to do with necromancy. So he decided to become a cleric, not only just a priest, but a uh, full-on cleric. He usually wields a um, a uh, like a spiked mace and a um, and you know uh, a buckler. He wears a um, kind of a uh, a robe with um, armor armor pieces on it. Uh, he's shaved his head but has a big thick like bushy beard it's something I'm sure it goes like to there a couple things that you should know about Gracchus he's is he is in fact violent in nature um, and he loves he loves killing things but he loves killing evil things he'll never he'll never put an innocent life at risk if he can help it but the thing is he will completely abandon his own personal safety if it means he gets to kill undead that's the one thing that he will just completely jump at the chance for at any point that he can get. And that's what this story is about. This story is about when uh, we were playing through a campaign, and I was playing as Gracchus. Um, we had two other people in the party. I think there was like a dwarf uh, tinkerer, and then there was like a, like a barbarian warrior. And uh, we were going through this dungeon, and then we got to this, we got to this door. And the door had a, um, a set of uh, iron bars in it. Uh, and there was like a window that you could look through, and judging by just the door, the door looked like it was about like it was about like a foot thick, and it was pretty um, like it was a formidable door. Uh, that's important for later. So Gracchus, I think I was leading at the time, so I decided I was going to look through through the bars and see, peek in and see what I could see in there. Um, and what Gracchus saw was a boat in this underground like dungeon thing, which I don't know how that makes sense, but it was there. Uh, being built by skeletons. By like, we couldn't see how many there were, but there were a lot of them in there. Uh, <laughs> it was just a bunch of skeletons in there building a boat. Of course, Gracchus being Gracchus, um, he just got really ticked off. He was really angry. He wasn't gonna let anything get in his way of killing those those skeletons. Or re-killing the skeletons, because I guess they're technically already dead. Um, so, this is what I say to the, this is what I say to the, to the GM at the time. I burst down the door. <laughs> and remember, this is a this is a door that is like a foot thick of solid oak. <laughs> so it's a bit of a like you know, bit of a job to break through. And um, we were we were playing a system called Advanced Fighting Fantasy, which uh, is just a two is just a two d six system. Uh, I ended up rolling to attack the door. I think I rolled like an eleven, <laughs> so I did end up. Um, Basically, I, like, I took down my mace and then THWACK against the door, and the door split in half. 
and then Gracchus rushed in. Uh, I think at that point I cast, um, well, I did, I did my prayer of uh, Smite Evil Humanoid. That gave me, like, attack bonuses against the, against the skeletons. And Gracchus rushed in and, like, <laughs> like, was just bashing all these skeletons' heads in with his mace. <laughs> the dwarf behind me. <laughs> Oh, I, also, I should also mention, uh, the deity that I served in Advanced Fighting Fantasy was Talak. And Talak is the god of war. <laughs> so, uh, the dwarf behind me, after I had broken through the door and cut through, I think, like, six skeletons, uh, the dwarf was like, Talak smash. <laughs> and that's now since become my, uh, my catchphrase. So, yeah, um, I ended up, yeah, carving through, like, about, like, six skeletons. There was about twelve in that room. Uh, I ended up taking on half of them by myself, and the other two um, guys got the other six. And we cleared out that room, and Gracchus, uh, you know, killed all those skeletons. <laughs> by the end of it, I think I, I, I said to the GM, so after I stand, I stand over the rubble of skeletons going... <sighs> and then I kind of looked at the, at the party, and they were just like, like, are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> On the other side of that, Gracchus um, was a healer. Like, he had, uh, like, healing abilities. There was one time, I think we were in the same dungeon, that we ended up um, coming across this guy who was, like, chained up to the wall like this. Um, and he looked in bad shape, so uh, Gracchus's natural instinct was to, oh, I've got I've to go over and help this guy. Because remember, he was still a priest. He was still, like, you know, in the business of helping people and healing people. So he went over and, like, as he was trying to put his hands on the guy's head to heal him, um, the guy immediately break, broke free of the chains and then, like, <laughs> and jumped on me with his claws because I found out afterwards this was a ghoul. <laughs> Ended up, um, basically, like, slashing me and then, like, ghouls have, like, paralyzing, like, claws. And so I was just kind of laying there limp on the ground for the entire fight. Uh, all because I just wanted to help this uh, this guy, and it turned out he was a ghoul, and he slashed my face. Um, I think that knocked me down to like half health. <laughs> but Gracchus is just like a really fun character to play. He's reckless and he's foolish. Doesn't isn't exactly like the wisest guy, wisest character. But um, he's his heart's in the right place, trying to like trying to do good things, but ending up either failing or going about it in the wrong way, or things like that. But yeah. That's the story so far of uh, Gracchus Shieldheart. Hopefully now, coming up in the new, in the next semester, in the new year, I guess. Happy New Year, everybody! <laughs> I'll be able to play more uh, campaigns with uh, with Gracchus in it because um, I love that character. <laughs> He's so great. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, kind of storytelling session that I decided to have. Um, if you did, uh, let me know if because I have a couple other uh, role play stories that I might be able to share. So anyway, yeah, I hope you have a good new year, and I hope that, um, you have a, g a good new year. I'm turning off this camera now. <laughs> Bye.